All right, here we are looking at slash pine. The scientific name of slash pine is Pinus eliadii. And uh, the big thing that I like to talk to my students about is that this, uh, this pine can come in bundles of three needles or two needles. And so I like to say two slash three. So it's a really big thing for identification. You don't always just want to say three. You don't always want to say two. And so again, these needles can be eight to 12 inches long uh, when it's mature. This tree is probably, I don't know, four or five years old. And uh, let, let's see, it's 80 to 100 feet tall. It's very commonly used in planting plant, uh, in plantations where people are trying to grow either lumber or pulpwood. It's a Southern yellow pine, but uh, we're in the Piedmont region and it's typically more popular in South Georgia. Uh, and not, not necessarily so, so much here up in, uh, up in the Piedmont. And one thing that's pretty interesting about this is not only can you get pulpwood and, and lumber out of this, but they'll tap these trees just like they would a maple for maple syrup. Now, obviously we're not getting maple syrup out of a pine tree, but you can get rosin, which is used in baseball, and uh, you can get turpentine, gum turpentine. And so uh, turpentine is kind of like a, a paint thinner, you know, it's, it's, there, there's all kinds of uses for turpentine. So look that up. But uh, one other thing, when you compare these guys, it's kind of a more open tree, but the branches are typically thicker than loblolly. And again, we have a lot of loblolly here in the Piedmont and, uh, and that's what we're looking over here. So if you look at these pines, these loblolly pines here, the branches are thinner compared to this stand that we have here of slash. And again, that's the slash pine.